What is going on everyone and welcome to r slash entitled parents now imagine working so hard for a year And then getting an award for all your efforts in that year only for someone to come up during your presentation ceremony and say no Actually, my daughter deserves that award more than you. Well, that's exactly what happens in today's first story Let's get into it entitled mum interrupts an award ceremony because her daughter didn't win anything This story happened almost two years ago I'm from a country in which you go to school from March to November slash early December. It was the end of the school year. Well, when you finish fifth year slash 11th grade slash junior year, they choose some people, six, who will carry the country's flag as the bearer and the guard in special ceremonies throughout their last year. These students tend to be the ones with the best grades and were respectful and helpful around the school. All in all, model students. Well, that year, the moment when they announce who are the chosen students arrives and every Everyone pretty much has an idea of who is going to get selected. I was proudly amongst those six. Thank you, thank you. However, everyone was shocked that one of my classmates, we'll call her Dove, was not. Okay, so Dove was a really bright student, but she had a bit of an attitude problem, especially against the principal and the school board. We were known for being a specially argumentative class. We wanted changes and we weren't going to wait, but most of us could discuss respectfully with those who could solve the issues, but not dove that girl could not for the love of anything dear keep calm when discussing something with the principal who was an entitled person on her own but that's another story therefore even if her grades were really good she was not offered a position at the end of the year after the last day of school the school organizes a small ceremony not only for the flag transfer the graduating students give the flag to the new bearers but also to give some awards like the student from each year who tried the hardest or for students who participated in different activities like math olympics up until that year there was also the best classmate prize each grade slash year had to vote for who they thought had been the best classmate typically the most helpful or friendliest one it sounds nice when said that way the problem is that most grades thought oh let's jokingly vote for blank aka someone who definitely did not deserve that prize it came to a head and the school board decided to give this award privately a few days before the actual ceremony Well, folks, guess what? Dove won it. And here is when her entitled mum makes her appearance, knowing full well what had happened, and also that her daughter had already received the medal for best classmate, but she still had the guts to stand in the middle of the ceremony and loudly ask, what about the other awards? Everyone stopped for a moment to stare at her. From where I was sat, I could clearly see Dove trying to hide her face in shame. Her entitled mum was looking at the principal, waiting for an answer. Even if I didn't like that principal much i give her kudos for how she managed the situation every award has already been given best classmate wasn't came the entitled mum's answer and i can almost remember her snotty voice the principal started explaining what i've already said before how it made the students feel like the laughing stock of the class and whatnot of course it wasn't enough for the entitled mum because she had to add well but my daughter deserved that prize you should have called her name or at least let the families know about it I'm sorry if your daughter didn't tell you was the last thing the principal said before carrying on with the ceremony the entitled mum was furious but she sat down again with a huff she wasn't just mad that her daughter hadn't been among the chosen six she was mad because her daughter hadn't been called out at all during that ceremony so yeah maybe not as entitled as some other stories but i still remember thinking if that was my mum i'd die of embarrassment or i'd kill her myself Okay, so um, Dove actually did get an award. It just wasn't one of the big six awards and it wasn't given to her in person in front of everyone else. It was given to her in private beforehand. Now, of course, the entitled mum, well, probably already knew this. I imagine Dove had already told her, but it doesn't matter to her because what is an award if it isn't given in front of the entire school so I can show off to all my other mum friends and, you know, parents and say, look, my daughter is so special. She got an award in front of everyone. Guys, if it doesn't happen like that, then did it really happen at all? That is the thing. I mean, to be fair, that's what I learned when I went to secondary school with like over a thousand people. There's always going to be someone that's better at you than the thing you thought you were amazing at. It's just the way it is. That's the, that's the way it is in life. So um, yeah, sorry, Dove. I mean, she took it quite well, to be fair. Her mum, though, nah, I'm not sure about that. 
Now for our second story, entitled mum yells at me and makes fun of my black eye for correcting her kit. Some pertinent background information before our story begins. Two days before this entitled mum moment happened, I got a huge black eye. You can see the 24 hour progression here and here's what it looked like today when all this went down. Now guys, not gonna lie, just before I show you these photos, look away now if you're a little bit squeamish. These are quite bad, honestly. All right, so here you can see the progression of the black eye. I mean, I can't lie, that is a big black i was i mean i was expecting something but that jesus that um looks like it hurt and then here you can see the black eye on day three oh, bloody that is absolutely mad i mean i don't know what happened to you but you must have been hit with some force that's for sure if you were looking away don't worry you can now look back as you can see my eye looks like it went 15 rounds with mike tyson in his prime yes it does needless to say i'm not super pumped to have to walk around looking like quasimodo in public but i powered through because i needed to pick up some sunglasses so that i could go out in public without being chased by an angry mob mistaking me for frankenstein anyway this brings us on to our story all right so i walk into the cvs early today to pick out some sunglasses big enough to cover my monstrosity my saint of a roommate the cause of this shiner already tried once to get some sunglasses for me to try to hide my black eye but because life seems to laugh at my misery they wouldn't even fit over the swelling i'm not surprised i'm wearing a hat really low to try to avoid the inevitable stares i will get and i quickly make my way over to the sunglasses rack to try to pick out some cheap ones i can wear until my eye looks a little less disgusting i start looking looking at a couple of pairs and take off my hat to try them on but as i do i hear from behind me ooh I turn to my left to see some kid, probably about 10, cringing while looking at me. Now, normally I don't get too embarrassed in public, no matter what I look like. Heck, I wear socks and slides a good portion of the time. But today, I'm not exactly looking to have anyone, regardless of their age, stare for more than a second or two at my effed up face. So, he's staring at me and I look at him, well, half of him, for a second, mortified, and try to pick any pair that might allow me to leave my new life as a temporarily half-blind recluse the kid walks up to me and says what happened to your eye did you get in a fight can you see at all how many fingers am i holding up hey look how many fingers am i holding up I tried to ignore him as best I can because he's just a kid and kids are usually fascinated by the grotesque. Heck, he's just asking what everyone wants to know. I'm about to indulge the kid and answer a couple of his questions, but then he decides he wants the whole world to see my shiner. Hey, did you see this guy's eye? Look at it. It's so gross. Hey, mum, look at this guy's gross black eye. It's about this time that I start to get as annoyed as I am embarrassed and admittedly, I lost my temper a bit and with whispered harshly shut up kid unfortunately it was loud enough that both the kid and his mum could hear and she absolutely lost it on me don't you dare tell my kid to shut up who the heck do you think you are i'm not surprised you got your butt kicked and i'm glad it happens you're lucky my husband isn't here or he'd f up your other eye I respond, well, maybe if you taught your kid that it's rude to ask people about things they wouldn't want to talk about, I wouldn't have to. At this point, she is absolutely livid. You have no right to tell me how to raise my child. How freaking dare you? Maybe if your parents raise you a little better, you wouldn't have got your butt kicked like a little female dog. Now, I would love to tell you that she was removed from the store while everyone clapped like a lot of these stories end, but there's no happy ending today. With a couple of other customers stopping to watch, I quickly left the store, absolutely mortified. She seemed to continue shopping, satisfied with the result of further enabling her kid. But worst of all, I didn't even get my freaking sunglasses. Uh, yeah, mate, not gonna lie, that black eye that you've got there is absolutely incredible. The size of it, I mean, how swollen it is, I've never seen anything like it. I don't reckon you're gonna be able to find any um, sunglasses to cover that up. I would just go with like a paper bag, cut some holes out, that's probably gonna do the job. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, you're quite lucky. It's gonna go away eventually. I think you can get over having it for a, a couple of weeks or so. But I guess the main problem with this kid saying what he's saying here is if he is saying about your black eye, that's one thing that's gonna go away eventually. But what if he starts saying it about people's appearances that they can't fix or won't go away you know that are long-term permanent things you can think of a number of things it could be and his mum is still enabling him to say those things and you know allowing him to say it without reprimanding him then that becomes a bit of a problem so yeah again entitled mum shock 
Now for our third story. Karen goes to a public pool and gets angry that other people are swimming. Hello, dear readers. I'm back with another entitled parent story for you, starring the biggest mega Karen I know, my mother. This happened when I was 11 in 2001. We'd moved to a small town in a new state two years prior to this and my mother was still getting her foothold in a new place And by this I mean my mother and her entitledness. Let me explain my mother She's about five foot tall broad-shouldered tubby but strong from doing farm work for most of her life And a resting bee face that would make Dolores Umbridge want to run the other way in fear and discomfort Needless to say she did not look good in her swimsuits much to my embarrassment the first day She came with me to the public swimming pool When we arrived at the pool, mum went to the changing room while I jumped straight in. I was already in my togs and board chores when we left from home. A few minutes later, along came Mother Dearest in her two sizes, two small one piece with her chub out for the world to see. Now, I'm all for body positivity and loving who you are, but seeing my mother in her too tight onesie waddling towards the pool was a sight that made 11-year-old me wish I couldn't swim. And let's just say that she was in no way elegant when entering the pool. Instead of of sitting on the edge and sliding in she went with a full-on jump into the deep end throwing other swimmers off course in their attempts to get out of the way and then came her entitlement as she proceeded to act as if her five dollar entry fee gave her full control over the pool and everyone in it my mother is not a strong swimmer so her preferred stroke of choice was doggy paddle or awkward female dog stroke this resulted in her kicking or hitting the occasional swimmer in her haphazard laps around the pool and getting Getting angry at them for being in her way she started yelling at the other swimmers who were mostly children that they shouldn't be there and demanding they get out of the pool or get out of her way by this point i'd escaped to the other end of the pool not wanting to be seen with her not long after mother dearest had gotten into the pool she was asked to behave herself or get out of the pool mum at this point did not understand how she was the one in the wrong and she said what but i haven't done anything wrong maybe you should teach those stupid kids to swim properly of course this fell on deaf ears and she was told to leave as we were leaving with me wanting to die from embarrassment mum muttered something about never coming here again and even though this threat was something she rarely followed through on thankfully for me this time she actually meant it every time after this she would drop me off or i would walk there on my own It boggles my mind how she can be so rude and entitled to think that she owns a space just by being there But out of all the entitled experiences i've had with her throughout my life This was one of the more milder encounters Now if you are a long time fan of my channel and you've watched a lot of my entitled parents videos Then you will recognize op right here fred z red I've read a lot of fred stories on my channel and yes, I could completely agree with what you say at the end here fred This is definitely one of the more milder entitled parent stories that you've written about your mum But it's still a very funny one. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely one of the more enjoyable ones that I've read Yeah, as you say not that deep, but also extremely funny. Very good. Let's move on to the next one So on to our final entitled parent story of today's video Karen thinks she can have free use of my truck A few years ago, I had a side hustle on my days off. My job had a rotational schedule where I worked two weeks, then got two weeks off. I made plenty of money at my job, but it didn't hurt to make a little extra in cash. I was in essence a tour guide, but for the region I lived in. I didn't have any planned tours, but usually just took people to see neat places that they would not know about or think to go to. I was adamant about getting paid up front, and customers signed an agreement that made guarantees to protect my truck from messes or damage. Never had any issues fortunately and people always enjoyed the places i showed them except for one family they seemed friendly enough when i was having them sign a contract and collecting my fee i should mention my fee was 15 dollars per hour plus 75 dollars 35 dollars if it was a half day this covered a tank of fuel plus paid for my time shuttling you around i also kept a cooler with free water and some limited snacks you were paying for my knowledge of the region plus knowledge about the area's history and such plenty of times i customers tell me i've never seen so much cool stuff in one day you could maybe find something cheaper but i didn't care Once money changed hands with this family, the attitude changed. They began treating me like I was a second-class citizen, but I had their money, so I didn't care. I drove them around to some of the most beautiful scenery you can find. 
It's rare people are left speechless by these places and never have I seen someone not be impressed until now Every place I showed them they just seemed disappointed One of the places was a ski town popular with a lot of celebrities not aspen and they were just like eh, It's okay. I can't deny I was a little offended by their indifference, but whatever they were never outright rude during the day But they were surprised when I didn't buy lunch for them as I said you're paying for my time food is on you But when I got back down to town and dropped them off at their hotel, it got interesting The wife says you can just park in the back and leave the keys at the desk. Tell them they're for the smith family I'm sorry. What? this truck just park it in the back. We might use it later. This is my truck I'm not leaving it here. That's not part of the deal Oh, please. There is no way you can own a vehicle like this. It obviously belongs to your company I do this job self-employed on my days off from my regular job. I assure you this is my truck I can show you my name on the title young man I had just turned 30 by the way if you don't do as you're told I will be forced to call your boss. You mean me? I am my boss Okay, you smart butt get your boss on the phone right now I thought about just driving off. It was 8 p.m. But then I had a better idea I called my supervisor at my real job. We'll call him dan Dan has been in the oil field for 14 years and could be quite the cusser. Good supervisor. He knew what I did on my days off and even sent people my way a few times. He answered and I just said, one of my clients is demanding to speak with my boss, so here she is, and handed her my phone. The wife, sounding smug, said, I tried to tell your driver to leave the truck here so we could use it, but he lied and said he owns it. I could hear him yelling. Are you freaking stupid? I didn't discern anything else, but I know he gave her a good thrashing She just walked to the window handed me my phone and said he wants to talk to you then walked away So dan my boss said did that fix your problem? Yeah, thanks dan anytime brother Hey, listen, if we all had a boss like Dan, or to be honest, in this situation, sounds like a good friend called Dan, I think the world would be a much better place, wouldn't it? I'd love going to work. It'd be much more enjoyable. What a legend, I've got to say. Like, he didn't need to do that. Obviously, he knows what you do in your spare time for a little bit of extra cash. By the way, great idea, getting some extra cash on your days off. I love that. But yeah, he didn't have to do that and was like, you know what? I'm going to back up my my employee. And yeah, I'm going to give it to these entitled people. They don't deserve this. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Entitled Parents. Just got to say quickly, thank you very much for the love and support on the videos recently. I've been absolutely loving making them, and you guys seem to be loving them more than ever. So it's it's amazing. I love making them. So, um, yeah, if you want more, check them out right here. And also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. I post videos here daily if you didn't know. So, yeah, subscribe, and you'll never miss out on a day. So I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new upload. Peace.